The last hour, we introduced you to the big sister of the year. Now we have another special guest making a difference in children's lives. Yes, we are joined by the big brother of the year, along with the executive director of the program. Good morning. We've got big brother of the year, Phil, and then Brenda, once again, the executive director. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Phil, I want to ask you, too, how did you get involved and, and why did you get involved in Big Brothers and Big Sisters? Well, uh, my wife is a school teacher, elementary school teacher and principal. And uh, she would indicate, uh, she would talk about the issues that a lot of kids had at school and the guidance they needed. And I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity after I retired to help out. And so I got engaged with uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and I really enjoyed it. It's been a good experience for me. Right on. Now, I understand, you know, again, with this pandemic, things have been a little bit different, but you guys have been able to get out and do some kayaking yeah. and do some virtual events as well. <laughs> right. Yes. We um, we we do a lot of things. We kayak, we bike ride. Um, we obviously follow the protocols, but <clears throat> uh, we have a good time. We go out and either sit at home and, and play video games or he likes to cook in the kitchen. We do that. Oh, nice. Um, oh, well, just cool. a variety of things. And uh, we've been able to make it work. Sometimes we just sit and talk or I take them out to lunch. So it doesn't have to be anything uh, involved. Mm -hmm. It just has, you just have to be there and have a good experience. Yeah, That's yeah. Fantastic. Um, you know, uh, Brenda, I wanted to ask you, what, how long are these, usually do these relationships usually last? I know, Phil, you, you've been uh, with your big little brother for four years and, and before um, Michelle had been, I believe, six. So how long do these relationships usually last between the bigs and the littles? You know, it really varies, but we have bigs, the relationship goes on and lasts a lifetime. Truly, so they awesome. um, get together, they become friends and family members even. It's mm -hmm. almost like having an extended family. We have one big brother that literally has been involved with his little for 41 years. Wow. Uh, 41 years. <laughs> so, so obviously, they're no longer in the program, but sure. they've maintained that relationship. Mm -hmm. So we ask for a minimum of one year commitment from mm -hmm. our big brothers or big sisters and uh, usually it goes from there well beyond that time. Wow. Okay, so you guys are Big Brothers, Big Sisters, uh, Northern Sierra, and I'm sure that there are chapters all over the state that are looking for volunteers. Um, Brenda, again, I know you said there are 47 right now that are looking for matches. Any indication, do you need a lot more Big Brothers mm -hmm. or Big Sisters, or is it kind of even? We actually need more big brothers than we do big sisters. Okay. Uh, it, that seems to be a trend. It's always the case, and it's yeah. up and down the state. Up and so down the state. Big brothers, okay. In fact, it nationally, big brothers are harder to come by than big sisters just because of the time commitment or um, the perception or whatever it may be. Uh, people, men especially, are, are sometimes a little, uh, I can't say they're busier, but um, they have other things going on in their lives. So uh, like Phil, they might wait until they retire. And you know, that's okay with us. Our oldest big brother is 87. That's so awesome. not have to be a, a teenager to be a, a big brother. We we welcome people with open arms. Excellent. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. well, all right. Well, Brenda, thank you so much. Brenda, the executive awesome. director there with Big Brothers Big Sisters of Northern uh, Sierra. And of course, Phil, congratulations to you and yes. Michelle. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Of course, if you're interested, they need you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for sure. And I think it would be rewarding for both parties. So we've got all their info on our website, goodaysacramento.com. Thanks, guys. Thank you again. Mm -hmm. Thank you.